Portia Simpson Miller is being seen as a hero by many in her country. Jamaica's first female prime minister, she's been mobbed on more than one occasion by adoring fans in Jamaica. It's clear that she has a fan base in this country as well, staff at Whitehall included. They lined the corridors from early o'clock awaiting her arrival. Prime Minister Manning led the welcoming party and then his staff got a chance to get close to his guest. Some laughter and more applause. The official part of the morning began, then it was time to face the media. The issues ranged from natural gas to crime, and reminders also that Ms. Simpson Miller has brought something different to the office of Prime Minister in Jamaica. You now have a sister to work with in the region. And so I believe that with a sister working with the men in the region, headed by you, Prime Minister, I'm sure great things will happen. Like the advice that I grew up with, four sisters and no brothers. And therefore, I have had quite a bit of practice in working with sisters, and I anticipate that we'll have no difficulty on this occasion. It hasn't been smooth sailing for Miss Simpson Miller. The criticisms have been fast and furious ever since her controversial claim that she was appointed by God. Then there was the invitation to churches to play a central role in state enterprises in Jamaica. She's not backing down though, as she told reporters at Whitehall. And when I spoke in Jamaica, I spoke about the need for the involvement of the churches in the process of governance in the country. I do not see anything wrong with having leaders of the various religious organizations being involved in the governance of any country. The debate in Jamaica, she says, will be for the betterment of her country. I think it is now, um, I think maybe the master himself had a hand in that comment because I think the churches in Jamaica are getting even more united after hearing the, the few persons who are opposed to that statement uh, coming out and speaking about it publicly. Ms. Simpson Miller reminded reporters that over 80% of Jamaicans are Christian. As a political leader, I am never afraid to say or hesitant that the Almighty God is my supreme master and my captain. We are much more diverse than uh, Jamaica is. Jamaica is 80% Christian. It is not so in Trinidad and Tobago by any means. Uh, and our constitution allows for freedom of worship and freedom of association and therefore free people are free in this country to pursue their own faith and that includes political leaders and that includes prime ministers and everybody knows that I'm a Christian. It's not a secret in this country that is very well known. Everybody also knows that I seek to work very closely with Almighty God. Everybody knows that and that my spirituality is probably the most important thing about me. It dictates exactly how I think and how I act. And that does not mean to say that there's prejudice to anybody. There's none. From Whitehall, it was off to a children's rally and then to the TTMA's offices in San Juan, where Ms. Simpson Miller was the guest of honor at a luncheon hosted by the organization. Anne Marie Sky and News.